Today I have the 2018 Ford Expedition and this is not just any Expedition, this is the Expedition Alpha. That's what this has been dubbed. There's a lot of neat, cool features on here. We got bigger wheels, bigger tires, got a sweet roof rack up above. We've got LED light bars in the front, up there on the back. This thing is just loaded. We got a ton of goodies inside and I can't wait to show it to you. Let's get started. What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for this 2018 special edition Ford Expedition Alpha. Before I get started, I want to give a big thank you to Rockwall Ford. Rockwall Ford is the mastermind behind this Alpha Expedition. They've really got a lot of cool vehicles on their lot. They're super friendly. If you're in the DFW area, please be sure to check them out. I'll put all their information down below and a link to their expeditions. So when we start up front, you can see right away that blacked out Ford badge and you can see those LED lights just beaming down there. They're super bright. Now we don't have the quad beam LED like you might see on higher trims, but you can obviously get that on a higher trim. We do have projector beam housing right there. We also have our fog lights down below. I really like this black grill with the blacked out Ford badge. We even have our recovery hooks down there as well. This thing is a monster. You can see the LED lights up above. You have a couple bars right up on top. The LED lights are rigid industries, so you know that they're proven, they're tough. Take a look at these wheels. We got 20 inch fuel podium wheels. Even got a little gold ring around it. And riding on top of those are Toyo tires. These are open country, 295 width tires. Got some meat on them. Perfect tires to go off road. What do y'all think of the look of this? So if you haven't seen my regular Expedition video, please go check it out. I go into a little bit more detail on the limited trim. This is technically the XLT trim. Going up above, you can see that roof rack. That's another add-on as well. So there's LED light bars in the front, LED light bars in the back on that roof rack. There's a bunch of crossbars on there as well. That's an SRM 100 72 inch roof rack. We also have power folding mirrors. These do have the blind spot indicator in them as well and the turn signal on the side. It's always a nice touch and a safety feature. Expedition comes in black here. This goes well with all the black accents, the black wheels, the black badging. Even the Expedition running across right here is blacked out right above the camera. So. Originally, we have 9.8 inches of ground clearance, but we have a three inch stage three motorsports leveling kit. So this thing is riding high, big wheels, lifted, running boards. This thing's the ultimate package. New for this year of the Expedition is an independent rear suspension. That gives you more room inside, better, uh, better layout inside, better you know, configuration for the rear seats and you can even get an optional continuously controlled damping system for an even better ride. Giving you another look at the Expedition here. This is the way to go if you're gonna get an Expedition. This thing is ready to rumble. Let's take a closer look. There's a ton of room back here in the back of the Expedition. We can open this lift gate in a number of ways. We can double click on here, but before that, there's a little knob under here, and then you can lift the glass. So you can easily reach in, get something out of there, or even have an item sticking out if you need to. Let's open up this tailgate. It is just massive back here. There's almost 105 cubic feet at the maximum end with all of these seats folded down. If you need more space than that, then you can get the Expedition Max, which is even bigger than this. Let me show you this cargo area. Take a look at just how much space we have back here. 
all these seats are folded down obviously as you can see we have those three individual seats can be folded down separately plus we have a 60 40 fold back here and you can control that with all of this so for example want to fold up both of those just takes one touch of that middle third row button and they'll fold right up same thing when it goes down so in the last expedition video i showed you the cargo management system when you lift this up that whole tray kind of lifts up and creates like a shelf this one does not have that but obviously you can go up and get that we do have a pretty good size you know storage bin right here you can keep whatever you want you got your tools over here so you've got what you need back there plus a little bit of extra cargo you have a tie down on each side plus a storage bin over there and then you've got plug-ins on both sides as well as another 12 volt right there so this is an excellent vehicle to store a bunch of stuff and a bunch of people we have a handle right up on top as well as our button right there if you saw my old expedition video you'll know that i love these seats these things are super comfortable they're perforated they're heated and ventilated they are 10-way power adjustable with lumbar support now at five foot nine i'm not very tall but i have more than a fifth room above my head there's plenty of space up here not really anything to get in the way of your knees Plus this pad, this uh, center console is padded over here for your right driver leg. The steering wheel is power adjustable, tilt and telescopically with these buttons right here on the wheel. And on top of that, there's three position memory for these seats, which is awesome. Once you climb up inside this Alpha Expedition, you'll find the interior to be just as nice as the exterior. We have a nice soft armrest right here, soft appointments up top. Here's our three-way memory seat for this driver's seat. And it's not just the seat, it's also the steering wheel. We also even have power adjustable pedals, buttons right there, electronic parking brake, our lighting controls right here. You can fold down the rear seats or open up the rear lift gate. We have quite a bit of storage in the door as well as two bottle holders. Nice solid door thunk with this key system. Foot on the brake starts right up to give you a quick look of this interior what do you all think so far obviously we have the nice big touch screen right there we have nice soft materials up on the dash the steering wheel is leather wrapped as well it's very nice with the center part right here four spoke design we have controls for our big screen display up there we can use those right here cruise control settings as well as our voice and phone controls over here and of course our radio controls right there so let's take a look at this screen. This screen is very impressive. It's one of my favorite features on this vehicle. There's so much that you can see on here. First of all, you can see the trip computer right there. As we move over, you can customize uh, your, you know, your trip one and two. Scroll through here, see what you can do. You can even control your auto start stop for the engine. We have it off right now. As we continue to move through the gauges here, as you can see, you can customize what you see. You can see all your vehicle information on screen here even for your towing this vehicle is definitely capable of towing you even have a blind spot for your trailer it's pretty cool they even give you a connection checklist while you're ready to tow going up you can see your pitch and your angle all the off-road things that you need to see as well as the power distribution between all four wheels when you're in four-wheel drive and then of course you can customize a lot with your advanced settings uh, we do have our trailer blind spot right here you can check that on rear parking sonar rear cross traffic alert and your blind spot information and the blind spot is actually in the mirror those two little cars right there the rest of the instrument cluster is nice and easy to read i like the blue lighting up top on those gauges on top of the dash similar to the trucks we have this nice large bin that you can put quite a bit in there and this does have a nice rubber lining so don't expect things to slide around it could be very handy to keep stuff out of the way right here we have our hill descent right there as well as our traction control hazards and then you can stop your auto start system right there i know a lot of people on some other videos have mentioned that they really want to shut off the auto start system or the auto stop and you can do that right here we have the eight inch ford sync 3 system this is a very easy to use system we're in our home screen right now and you can customize what you see obviously you can add a device meaning your phone you can control and look at your climate settings on here obviously once you add a phone you'll be able to do everything with that we have navigation navigation is easy to use we have a nice view on the screen you can zoom in you can also pinch and use your fingers just like you would on the phone scrolling through some apps obviously you can add some apps especially once you get your phone on here and 
our settings. There's quite a bit that you can change on here as you can see everything right here. Moving over, we even have our Wi-Fi right there. This also comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. As we move down, we have the controls, the push button controls for that. I do like these because they have an actual little tactile feel to them, both the volume and tuning knob. As we move down a little bit, we do still have a CD player right there. Some people still want those. Same kind of knobs right here. These are nice and easy to use. We even have our button for a heated steering wheel. Not to mention our three tier controls for climate cooled seats where it puffs out the cool air or the heated seats right there. And you can synchronize this with the passenger with this dual zone system plus our rear AC controls as well. Now we have a wireless charging mat right there, two more USB ports, and this is fairly large. It's a good place to store your phone or store something larger. You can even close it and get it up out of the way. This rotary dial knob does take a bit to get used to. It's really easy to use, obviously, just like normal. You can twist it, put it in drive, no problem. Push the M, and then you can plus and minus and manage your own gears with this 10-speed transmission. When we put it in reverse, we do have a backup camera. You would have to upgrade to get the 360 camera, and you can get that on higher trims. As you can see, we do have dynamic lines when I turn the wheel. Plus, you can zoom in for a closer view top-down right there. We have another little storage slot right here. This is actually a little deeper than it looks. I mean, you can put your key wherever you want. I've just kept it there. My bottle does fit in these cup holders. They're pretty large and accommodating with these tabs inside of them. And here is our control for the four wheel drive. We're in too high. Obviously you can put it in automatic four wheel drive right there. Also with this knob, we have the drive mode. So let me show you, you spin this knob and it'll show up on the front. Spin it once. Well, first we're in normal, go to eco. I'll just kind of scroll through these. You can kind of get a get an idea and see all the different things that you can pick. So depending on where you are, you can put it wherever you need it. Next to the console, we have another little storage tray running through right here. This is a really nice soft armrest. You can see it give right there. It's very large. We have two cup holders behind that. We can open it up, have pen holders here. We have a sliding tray with a couple little nooks and crannies on it as well. So you can take this out and show you just how big and deep this is. You can see another 12 volt outlet right there. Plus, those are your controls for the LED light bars that we have all around the vehicle. Moving up, you can see we have a pretty nice commanding view of the road. You can even see you know, some of the hood, and I really like that. It reminds you of driving a truck, even though this is ultra comfortable. Up above, we have large visors. The whole visor slides in and out. Plus, we have the vanity light and mirrors on both sides. Our sunglass holder actually has a nice soft lining inside of it, so you don't have to worry about scratches or it sliding around or rattling in there. That's an automatic dimming rearview mirror, not to mention these are LED lights. Our visors also give us our garage system right here with up to three garage doors. We do have a grab handle on both sides as well for you and your passengers. Visibility looking out the back here, we have nice tall big windows, you know it's better than you would expect. Obviously that headrest is in the way, but those back two can fold down, and of course these seats can come down, not to mention you have your blind spot information system. The back seat of the Expedition is still a really nice place to be. We have some of the same materials, nice and soft right there, even up above. We've got one cubby there, we've got a little cubby there, as well as more, and a bottle holder down below. So you can definitely tell that I have a ton of space right here, tons of room for my knees, and that seat is right where I would be at five foot nine. I've got this seat next to me folded forward to show you the center slide feature. Let's say you have a child in this seat or a car seat, you can have it slid forward and it's locked in its track so that the child is close to you if you need to turn around and do something or help your child out. As I showed you earlier, we have these two cup holders right here. This is pretty nice back here. We even have our own climate controls back here as well as two more USB ports and a three prong outlet right there, plus a 12 volt power outlet and another storage space down below. And there's really not even a tunnel right here so a large or a taller person could fit. And I have this seat all the way up now and you can see I still have plenty of knee space and underfoot space. Not to mention your backseat passengers get grab handles on both top and bottom right there. 
definitely a really nice place to be and in the last expedition video I showed you how I fit in the third row seat and I definitely fit if you want to see that check out my other video plus you have USB ports and storage cubbies on both sides under the hood of the expedition we get the well-known 3.5 liter EcoBoost that will put out 375 horsepower and an insane 470 pound-feet of torque that is paired with the 10 speed automatic transmission that is very smooth. If you go top of the line trim, you'll get 400 horsepower and 480 pound feet of torque. Two wheel drive versions will get you 17 miles per gallon in the city and 24 miles per gallon on the highway. In this model right here, that's four wheel drive, will get 17 city, 22 highway. This thing has the power to tow 6,000 pounds if you don't have any towing equipment like the heavy duty package or you can tow 9,300 pounds if you do. All right, everyone, we are off in the 2018 Ford Expedition, and this model has EcoBoost, like I told you. If you've never driven an EcoBoost in any of these Ford vehicles, they're definitely impressive, especially this 3.5 liter. It has got some get up and go. I gotta say right away, if any of you were expecting me to go off road, I'm sorry that I can't. This is a brand new vehicle. It's from Rockwall Ford. They were super nice just to let me take this out and show it to you guys. But I'll give you some driving impressions. We'll um, get on the throttle a little bit, go around some turns, some rough roads, and kind of see how it handles. Even though we have big tires on here, big meaty tires nonetheless, it's still pretty quiet. You know, this thing, uh, if you dress it down just to the kind of the basic form, it's an excellent family vehicle. I already did the review on the limited trim, and this thing is just so plush, so comfortable. I'm on a actually a pretty rough, rough top road and I don't really hear hardly any road noise. I can tell that I have bigger tires, but that's about it. The brakes on this are still pretty good. You know, they're a little softer than you might want. And stopping is going to be a little different with the big tires as well. And we've got some extra weight with the roof rack and uh, the bigger tires. But stopping feels pretty good. You know, it's got a good feel on the brake pedal. Now that I'm on a smoother road, of course, you can tell that you're kind of riding higher up in an SUV. You don't feel quite so fluid with the movement but this thing soaks everything up really well we're just getting on a rougher tech or a even rougher road it's got a lot of patches and um oh, you know everything's kind of been covered up once or twice here and some dips and some dunks and this is really composed i mean of course you can probably see me moving around in the cab a little bit but the suspension is going to give some even just with just subtle acceleration there's just a slight delay and then you go. I am very impressed with these EcoBoost engines. I'm really glad that this Expedition has as much power as it does because it's such a big vehicle, you need it. And you know, especially if you're gonna take this thing off road, you're gonna want some power. If you're gonna climb some hills or anything like that. I've been in this Expedition for a little while now and I've gotten really comfortable with where everything is. You know, I've got soft touches on my armrests on both sides, the steering wheel is leather wrapped and it's got a good feel to it. All the controls are within reach. Everything is ergonomically very, very well done in this new Expedition. Being inside of this Alpha Edition, you wouldn't even realize that, you know, it's got such a, a presence on the outside because everything is so plush and so comfortable on the inside. The steering feel is also pretty good. It's going to have some play in it, obviously, but it's got a nice feel. We're just getting onto a bit of an open road. Let's get on it. Oh boy. It's pretty quick. It's fun to drive. You know, you have a big vehicle that's fun to drive. That's something that's pretty exciting. It's not a lightning bolt, obviously. It's not a performance SUV, but this engine gets up and goes. I'm on an even smoother road now. There's really not a, a rough texture to it at all. And it's really quiet and really serene in here. There's literally no wind noise and it's a pretty windy day and I don't hear anything coming through the doors, the seams, anything like that. You got a nice view of the road. You know, you set up good and high. I've got this seat probably about halfway and it's tracked up and down at five foot nine and I feel very comfortable driving this thing. I'm just turning into my area where I like to do my U-turn to kind of get a good feel for the turning radius. Let's see how it does. I'm a little nervous about this. Crank the wheel. Oh, that's actually, that's still pretty impressive. 
you know, this is just a two laner on this side right here and easy U-turn right there, no problems. Steering wheel got pretty light, easy to use. Definitely comfortable. I have the auto stop start system on now and it's pretty seamless. You can tell just a little bit when it wants to start up, but there's no delay in you getting going. We're gonna take a little bit of a wider curve at higher speed. And we don't have, you know, grippy tires for pavement, but no problems here. Holding about 55 around this turn. Steering feels good. Then we'll get on it. Acceleration is very good. Very acceptable acceleration. Now at a little bit higher speed, I can hear a little bit more, a little bit more wind noise, and I can hear the tires. You know, it kind of sounds like, you know, meaty tires, truck tires back there, which we have, and that's just fine. That's what you get this thing for. In the full size segment right now, or at least a three seater SUV that can actually fit people in the back in the third row, this is probably the best option out there. I got to do the limited expedition as I told you before, and. You know, when you get all the bells and whistles on here, you can trip, trick this thing out really well. Ford and Lincoln have definitely stepped their game up with this SUV. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you've liked it so far, please subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. Give me a thumbs up down below if you like it. I really appreciate it and I wanna hear your comments down below. What do you think of this Alpha F Expedition? Would you want one of these Alphas? This thing is pretty sweet. Let me know down below and I'll see you guys next week. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do down below for new weekly videos every single week. Also hit me up on social media, find the links down below in the description for Prime Autotainment. Once again, leave some comments down below, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next week.